Hi, I'm Diane Rose with Diane Rose Ministries, or other words, theamazingquilter.com. And I would like to say my Christmas prayer is out for you, for you that are very special, that, that you have the most awesome Christmas you have ever had. This is the time of the year that we need to forgive, forget, put the past behind us, and go forward. You have hope. Hope is important to have that kind of hope. And hope turns into faith. Uh, Diane Rose Ministries is a ministry of encouragement. And I just want to be able to encourage you to have that hope, to have that faith, to believe in one in, in yourself and know that you are beautiful. You are someone special. You are special in God's eyes. And I just want to encourage you with that and assure you that someone does love you. God loves you so much. And f um, faith, I know what faith is about. I know how to live on that, and you can too. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. I have stood on that. I'm believing and standing on God. I know that He can provide for me as well as He can provide for you. He can make you healthy. He can make you wealthy. He can comfort you when there's nobody. I understand how it feels not to have a, a family. I, I, my family rejected me. I know what it feels like to be hungry. I've been hungry many a times, but to be hungry for God is so awesome because you can be filled up with his word. And remember, he loves you so much. I'm standing and believe in God that because he's blessed me with a talent. I am the only well-known, totally blind quilter. All these quilts here, yes, I have made. But with that, these are gifts for people to purchase. Don't forget to visit theamazingquilter.com because you will see all kinds of wonderful things on there. And there is a PayPal account on there for you. Now, one of the things that um, you have to have a vision have a vision of what you're expecting. I'm expecting, just like a, 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 a lady is expecting her baby, that baby is coming, she knows it's coming. Well, I know things are gonna happen in my life because I stand on that and I believe God for that. I believe, I, God blessed me last year with a, a piece of property. I am believing God to build a house. I don't know where my husband is, but I know that he's watching this. And he will, I will know him in the spirit. He will know me in the spirit. I'm believing to build this house uh, in, in Branson, Missouri. And, it's, and this is just the first draft. You got to have a vision. Like it says in Habakkuk chapter 2, have a vision, write it down, put it into um, action. So faith without action is dead. You have to put it in and believe that you can. I, I believe that I will be on Mike Huckabee's show this next year. I believe I'll be on Steve Har Harvey's show. I believe that what I have to say and what God is doing with me and what he can do with you, that these doors can open. I'm trusting him. I'm believing to be able to meet President Trump. He is so awesome man of God. I can't wait to meet him and get a hug. I, I'm, I'm believing God, why not, why not, to go to the, the wedding in, in England uh, with uh, Prince Harry and Meghan. That would, be, that would be awesome. Yeah, some of the things I stand on and I believe God for is way out there, but I have in the past seen things way out there. I, I believed as a little girl that I would be, uh, be a part of the Grand Ole Opry. On my 18th birthday, God took me. And I stood on the stage with Roy Acuff. I knew for seven years that I would. I knew it in my heart. So don't stop dreaming. Don't stop believing. And you can, it can happen. You can be prosperous. You can be productive. Step out. Talking about it is one thing, but doing about it is another. So I just challenge you to step out. Don't let someone tell you no. No is not my vocabulary. I want to know why. I want to know why there's a no and how come. Now, if that's dangerous for me, I understand that. But you have, you have a life. You have a reason to live. You who are laying in that bed and feeling sorry for yourself, that's not getting you anywhere. 
you who are in prison because you've done wrong will go right to the people you've done wrong to and say, I'm sorry, forgiveness is important. Ask for forgiveness and God will give that to you. Ask him into your heart. As you ask him into your heart, your life is going to change, oh, big time. And I just praise God. I thank the Lord for each and every one of you. I thank, I thank God for the, the bricklayer, the, the contractor, the electrician that will come forth, the finances. If Jesse DePlantis, Kenneth Hagen, uh, Kenneth Copeland, Jesse, and uh, Jerry Savell can ask God and believe God for uh, millions of dollars to support their ministry. I believe $350,000 can be brought in to be able to build a custom made house so I can help all of you that have disabilities or need to be encouraged or need to be loved to be cared about that I can help you. I want to help you. And that's what I, that's my ministry is to be able to help you use your talents and be encouraged and know that you of all is loved. Jesus loves you. He loves you so much. Don't give up. Okay. God bless you. I pray a blessing over each and every one of you in the name of Jesus. I just praise God. And once you do, thank him. You can ask after that, just thank him and praise him in Jesus' name. I just pray a blessing over each and every one of you to have a wonderful Merry Christmas. God bless you.